Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Hey, welcome back. I thank you again for joining me. Today, I'm going to do another book review. And, uh, you know, for all you readers out there or researchers in biblical scripture, knowledge, whatever, you know, I got another book for you to check out here. And this book here is called Judas Scepter and Joseph's Birthright. And it was, uh, the author is John Harden Allen, who lived from 1847 from until 1930. And he originally published this book in 1902. And uh, this book's right here. And uh, anyways, it talks about history of, you know, from Abraham on down, you know, to the 12 tribes of Israel. And, uh, and back then, the last half of the 19th century, going on to the, you know, 20th century, you know, there was big movement going on about uh, the history and uh, of the, you know, English speaking peoples and uh, their origins because they were, they are the descendants of uh, the 10 lost tribes of Israel and some Judeans too, of course, because if you remember in the scripture, you know, the, the Northern tribes and, uh, and uh, separated from Judah and then Benjamin stayed with them and the Levites eventually stayed with Judah. But, you know, from Jeroboam's uh, sacrifice of children, you know, it's common knowledge that some of them parents from the, the northern tribes, you know, left left that country, went down to uh, the kingdom of Judea because they wanted to save their children, at least. I mean, I'm not saying they, you know, believed and, you know, followed through with Yahweh's uh, instructions and commandments and religion, but, you know, they, they got away, went down south to protect their children. And uh, and when uh, Assyria, Assyria, when they they first started uh, messing around, attacking the northern tribes, they took some of the Judeans away. And then they started taking part of the uh, ten tribes away, piece by piece. And finally, you know, in waves and after a while, they, you know, they were gone. But some of the Judeans were gone. And some of the, and all the ten tribes are lost, but they... They weren't really lost. They just, uh, they were there and, you know, Assyria, the kingdom spread out. And later on, you know, they migrated around and went under different names, of course, until, you know, they went into Europe and they spread out and they went to all kinds of countries. They went to, then they went to the British Isles. And later on, you know, they came to the Americas and that's where we find ourselves right there. And when uh, Judah, when they, they went into, Captivity from the Babylonians, only about 40, over 40, little over 40,000 returned, but they were like a couple million Judeans by that time. And most of them stayed in the Mesopotamia area. So anyways, this book here, he talks about, talks about the, you know, the difference between Judah's sepulcher and, or, you know, Joseph's birthright. And, uh, you know, jo Joseph, of course, was the favorite son of Israel, and he got the birthright, the birthright blessings, and he transferred, you know, his, his sons got him too, Manasseh and Ephraim got him. But um, Judah, they got the blessings of the Messiah, the oracles, and the oracles of Yahweh, you know. And this book explains the difference between the two, explains the difference between, you know, Judah's sepulchre, and uh, Joseph's birthright. Anyways, you can find this book on Amazon or eBay or other book online bookstores, and I encourage you to get it and study it. And uh, that's all I really want to say. So that's all, you know, please subscribe and watch my other videos. Hit the notification bell. Give me some likes. Comment below. Let me know what you think about the book if you've read it or if you, if you, you know, know about it, whatever. Just let me know. And uh, that's all I really want to say. And I thank you again for stopping by. Till we meet again, peace out and shalom.